Hey everybody, it's Bubbly4041 and I am back with my next video. This is a bit delayed, but this is going to be my Christmas haul of 2020 uh, video. I am including horses that I got um, that I haven't showed you yet from before Christmas, and then only one that I did actually receive on Christmas, and then some stablemates that I've gotten around the same time as well. So I'm going to start off with the stablemates and then we'll go to the big guys. So starting off with uh, stablemates, I actually got, I think, the two that I'm going to show you right before Christmas, I believe. Um, so this is Cassidy, I think is the name. Um, it's the final Stillmate Club release of this year. And she's on a new mold. And she's done in like a silver, kind of like a silver bay. There we go. Silver bay uh, Appaloosa, blanket Appaloosa. And she's a new sculpt by Maggie Bennett. Let's see. Focus it here, excuse the dust, but there's some more details of face and things and the forelock that is quite messy and then the mane as well. And then going back to the rest of her, she has some striped hooves. And then this is the other side here. And then her stomach pattern. So overall, um, I like the color on this mold, but I'm not a huge fan of the mold, um, personally. And also, she has quite a few flaws. You see there's just spots on her white, her markings aren't super crisp, she has white- some of this is dust, but she does have some scrapes and things on her colored parts as well. And I just think she's not- not as detailed as I would like to see, I think, for, um, being, you know, the final release in the Stillmate Club. So I did not end up rejoining the Stillmate Club for 2021. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of all of the releases. I did like the foals. They were cute, so I may try to buy them secondhand, but I, none of the releases really grabbed me and said, you know, I really need to join. So that is her. And then along with her, um, I also got the optional model. I think it was for the Stillmates Club, but it was the re-release of the kind of vintage Dapple Grey Belgian or Clydesdale, excuse me, Clydesdale stallion, but on the stalemate size mold, and he's actually pretty cute. He's in pretty good shape. Um, I don't really see a lot of flaws on him, and uh, I really like his color and his detail as well. He has gold braids. There's his face. So I'm actually happier with him than I am with um with Cassidy. So he's pretty cute. Happy to have him in my collection. I don't have a name for either of them yet. And then on Christmas Day, I did actually order, along with those two guys, I ordered um, one of the 70th anniversary mystery bags, and I actually opened that on Christmas Day, and I could feel that it was an Indian pony, and I know that at least one of the chase pieces is on the Indian pony mold. Um, I don't know if there's two or if there's just one, but anyway. And um, so I didn't know which one it was going to be, and it did end up being this girl. This is the... Uh, regular version. So it wasn't the chase piece, but it was still fun to open up on uh, Christmas morning and just see if I was going to be lucky enough to get the chase piece or not. And this is my first on this new uh, Shrunken Down Indian Pony Stalemate mold, so she's pretty cute. So I'm going to focus it a little bit for you guys there. So not a lot of detail to this, uh, you know, to her, but she's cute. And it was just fun to open her up on Christmas morning, so that is her. And then the final statement I wanted to show you, I just got uh, a couple days ago. This is the Deluxe Stalemate for the Deluxe Collectors Club um, for 2020. So they're doing the Alvarozo for, for next year. But this year, it was this guy. It was Prince. Pretty sure that's what his name is. He is the Palomino on the fighting, new Shrunken Down Fighting Stallion mold. And, uh, again, he's in pretty good shape. I've seen some that have arrived in not so great condition, and, um, he arrived with box intact, and I don't see a lot of notable flaws on him. There may be some, but it's not anything that I was like, oh, that, you know, that's a lot of flaws, or that's a problem. So, overall, uh, he's pretty cool, and I'm happy to have him in my collection. Alright, so that's all the stone lights I had to show you guys, so now we're going to move on to, uh, the big guys. I did order and take part in, and I don't believe that I showed them, and if I did, I apologize. I'm going to show them again, because I don't think I did, the Collector's Club Appreciation, 
glossy models that they do every year. I did participate in that, and I only got um, one model with my order. I got a couple other so still nice and things, but they're not, I'm not going to show them. So I just got um, the traditional Christmas horse, and I'll show you guys to him, because he's really nice. So I don't remember if I showed him or not on this channel, so if I have, then excuse me. But um, I really like the mold, and I really like this realistic color that we haven't really, you know, had before. He's definitely my favorite Christmas horse um, to date. Just, again, the realism factor, and I could actually show him in my show string, and... Um, I think that he can and, and will do fairly well. He has gotten some placings in photo shows already, which is pretty cool. And um, he doesn't have a whole lot of flaws. He has some shiny marks here and there. He has a little one on his neck right there, as you can see. And he did have one on his hip, but I did give him a bath and I tried... See, I don't even think that you can really see it anymore, but he did have one on his hip, maybe right there, but I... I fixed it pretty well with the uh, eraser trick, so fixed it as well as I could anyway. Um, but otherwise, he really doesn't have, I can't tell, that might be dust or a mark. That might be a little tiny mark on his off barrel, but really he's he's pretty good shape, um, and I am happy to have him in my collection and have my uh, OF draft collection grow, because right now I don't have that many members in it, so I'm happy to uh, add him to it. So that is him, and his name is like Cordiamor? Cordiamor? I don't know. So, something along those lines. I can't really pronounce it well, but uh, I think it's French, but that's what I decided on his name. So along with him, of course, I got the uh, Glossy Appreciation model, and I ended up getting Buckeye, the Glossy Mule. And I'm pretty happy with him, actually. Um, I think besides him, I would have liked to have Dominante, and... Um, Probably just Dominante. I don't think any of the other ones really were speaking to me um, all that much. And Buckeye, I'm actually happy I did get him because I don't have a lot of long ears in my collection. I have Sprite, um, my little companion, uh, Sicilian donkey, and then I have my little Schleich donkey, and that's pretty much it. So I'm happy to have an actual, you know, a traditional size long ear in my collection. And um, he's actually in really good shape. I didn't see a lot of flaws on him. Except he does have this one mark on his back here that uh, just runs off a little bit there. Um, but really, other than that, he's in pretty good shape. My only concerns with him are uh, just molding issues. I mean, the tip of that ear is funky for sure. And his face is, like, lopsided? See what I mean? Like, his muzzle? Like, his muzzle is lopsided looking. But anyway, I mean, those aren't things that I obviously could fix. It's just part of the mold. Um, first one that I've had on this mold, actually. And uh, I'm pretty happy with him. Just that he's glossy and his color's pretty unique and everything like that. And his name is um, Partly Puzzled. And that is him. So finally, I'm going to go to uh, two horses that I actually did receive right around Christmas. First one is this guy. I can't remember if he was before or after Christmas, to be honest with you, but I know he was right around Christmas time. And this was my Glossy Benelli. So I wanted uh, the matte one, but as you guys know, I am a glossaholic. I love anything in gloss more than I like it in matte. And I do think that he really does pop with the gloss. Um, unfortunately, he does have some flaws. His markings are quite crisp. I'll show you. He has some cute little kissy spots on his face right there that are really cute. And I do like his um his face and his facial markings. I did get one with a darker face. He has a darker face for sure. And I just really like the color. I mean, it's a realistic Clyde still color, but it's still kind of unique and really fun to uh, to look at and to have. So overall, masking wise, everything like that, he's pretty good. But he does have these spots on his offside. He has that white spot, and then this little spot of missing paint as well. I might try to fill them in, but I don't know how well that will go. At least they're on his offside. And then the other big flaw that he has is he has this mark up here. Right there. That blue stripe. I It's like blue. I don't know if it's part of like what the, you know, when they were painting um, those bobs or not. I don't know. But he has a blue stripe right there. Um, certainly a flaw, but it makes him kind of interesting, I guess. And uh, I'll see what I can do to try to, you know, cover them up and make them less noticeable. But otherwise, he is in really good shape. Um, there's the bottom. It does say Briarfest 2020. 
And uh, overall, I really like him. I don't have, again, I don't have a lot of drafts in my collection, um, so I'm really happy to add him to it. It's a nice mold. The mold does well. I think it's a really cool coloriz colorization for a Clydesdale, so I am happy to have him. Um, his name is going to be Arlington Court, and that is him. And then finally, I have one more horse to show you guys, and this is the actual horse that I opened up on Christmas. I only got one horse actually on the day. Um, I will also mention before I show this horse as well, another horse I can't show in here is I did order the Christmas, um, excuse me, web special that they did, the Joel. I don't know if that's how you say it, the Icelandic. I ended up getting the clear one, and I actually sold it within just a couple days of getting it. I'm not a huge person with uh, decorators, if you guys know me. I don't really enjoy collecting decorator models, and I'd always just have to order the Christmas horse for the chance of getting that really rare cold piece. Um, but where I didn't get the cold piece, I did get the clear colored uh, model. I did end up selling her just a couple days after getting her. So she's not in this video because I don't have her anymore, but I did receive her uh, shortly after Christmas as well. So the actual horse that I received on Christmas was, of course, a Peter Stone model, because I really do uh, enjoy Peter Stone's over briars for the most part. There are some briars here and there that I do like. So this is the Peter Stone model that I got. Um, she is a one-of-a-kind by Cheryl Leisure. I think in 2019, I believe she was a best offer model. Um, her original name was Lori or something along those lines. And uh, she was a one-of-a-kind painted by Cheryl Leisure. She's a customized Palouse and she has really nice dapples, detailing, etched markings. See, there's a facial marking right there. Um, really nice detailed eyes. There's her face, yep. And then nice little mane. I don't think the mane is altered. Maybe slightly, but that's pretty, I think, similar to what the original Palouse mane is like. And then she has, like I said, pretty heavy dappling throughout. And then her uh, tail, I think, is altered to kind of be just this low low sitting tail. Um, the bottom. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's see. There you go. It says show leisure right there. And then her feet are nice and detailed. She has one, two socks. She has two socks. One on the front here again, etching around the socks. And then this one on the back. Let me see if I can turn around for you guys. And there's her, her offside. So I've been really wanting a horse on this mold um, for quite some time. But as you guys know, I'm very particular about what horses I collect. And it's more about what model um, speaks to me when I see them. And she certainly spoke to me. I saw her listed on eBay and I just, you know, was like, that's definitely um, along the lines of a Palouse that I'm thinking of. Uh, I definitely like to have the customized, you know, one of a kind or customized or something like that over regular runs or just the regular customizations. So she definitely fit the bill um, in that area. And then I did like her color as well. So that is her, and I decided to call her, at first it was uh, a New York Minute, and then I decided to change it, and now her name is Broadway Baby. And I don't have a breed pinned down for her, I'm still working on it. Um, so that's the only hard part about having her, is I haven't found uh, the perfect breed yet, but we are definitely working on it and on our way there. And she has placed in a photo show since having her um, since Christmas, so... We will just work on that some more, but I'm really happy to have her in my collection and to have my first uh, Peter Stone Palouse in my collection as well. So that is her. And uh, that's all the models I have to show you today for this haul video, you guys. Um, I do have other videos coming out soon. I will do a complete and total collection tour video soon, and I do have... Um, two or three more photo show results videos to do as well. I hope you guys do enjoy those. Um, so those will be coming out. The collection tour video will be coming out. If you have any other videos that you'd like to see from me, please don't hesitate to comment them down below and comment if you have anything to say. I always enjoy reading them. If you haven't seen any other videos in my channel, please go check them out and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.